All right, guys, so next up, we are gonna be working on building this new message view. So we click on that button and it presents us with like this full screen cover and it displays a list of users that we can ultimately select to take us over to a chat. So let's go ahead and start off with the functionality that we need to introduce to be able to click on this button and have it present a full screen. So we are gonna go up to the top of our inbox view and create a state property to help us manage that presentation. So we're gonna say show new message view and it's gonna equal false. And then on this scroll view, we're gonna go ahead here and say dot full screen cover and we're gonna select the is presented option. And we are gonna say show new message view with the dollar sign. And the content is just gonna say text new message for now before we actually create the view. Now we just have to figure out how to toggle this property so that when it changes to true, this full screen cover will trigger and actually show us the new message view. So we have our button down here in our toolbar. And if you guys look here, this is where it says show new message view. So naturally we're just gonna go here and say so new message view dot toggle. And now if we click that guy, we notice that it gives us that full screen cover. So our presentation logic is complete. Let's go ahead and actually start building this guy out now. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder in my core folder for new message. And let's move it to the correct spot to keep our alphabetical order. And here I'm gonna go ahead and create my new message view. Okie dokie. So we are going to make this a scroll view, guys because once again, we have a scrollable list here of users. So we're gonna start by making this a scroll view. And then we're gonna create this text field up at the top that's gonna to act as sort of our search bar. So we're gonna say text field to, and we need to create our text property. So we can call this search text. And let's go ahead and add that to our text field with a comma, text, dollar sign, search text. Then we're gonna say dot frame is height 44, dot padding, dot leading, dot background. And it's gonna be color dot system grouped background, just like that. So that looks pretty good. Then uh, let's go ahead and create our navigation toolbar really quickly, guys. So we're gonna say dot navigation title is just gonna be new message. Dot navigation bar title display mode is dot inline. Dot toolbar. Oops, uh, let's say dot toolbar. And then we're gonna create a button here. So we're gonna say toolbar item placement and content and it's gonna be leading and we're gonna have a cancel button here. And because this is just a simple text component, guys, we don't need to do the action and label initializer. We can just introduce this cancel text, or this like string right here, and then we can dismiss our screen from that action block there. So we can say environment dot dismiss, var dismiss, and then we can go here and say, Dismiss just like that. And our button is going to have a foreground color of dot black. And to get this showing up here, um, we need to wrap our preview inside of a navigation stack. And let's go ahead and just say new message view. And now everything should show up nicely. Now let's go back to our inbox view and see if we can actually present this, have this stuff show up and then dismiss it with our cancel button. So inbox view, let's hit our button up at the top. Once our preview finishes loading and we obviously need to replace text new message with our new message view. 
and let's see what that looks like. So we go here and guys, because we're presenting a full screen cover, we actually need to wrap our new message view inside of a navigation stack as well. So um, when you present something, it doesn't uh, do that via means of a navigation stack. It acts as a different uh, mode of presentation. It's like a modal presentation instead of a navigation push. So if we go back to our new message view, we can just hit command click embed in VStack and replace that with a navigation stack. Let's go back to our inbox view and let's hit that guy. And that looks really good, right? And then we can hit cancel and we notice that it dismisses our screen. So that functionality is looking really good there. We just need to finish up with this like uh, user list component. So let's go back to our new message view and see if we can accomplish that. So first thing we wanna do is create this like contacts label here, guys. And just to do a, a quick overview of how we're gonna do this, you could create another list to do this the same way we did back in our inbox view, or we could sort of make our own. That's uh, a little bit better in my opinion. We don't need to use a list here because we don't have any sort of swipeable actions or anything like that. So we can just create it using a V stack, which is what we're gonna do here. And ultimately this shows you guys different ways of accomplishing the same thing. So let's go ahead and make a text component here say contacts and then we're going to say dot foreground color is dot gray dot font is dot footnote dot frame max width dot infinity alignment dot leading dot padding so that's sort of like our section title that we see there and then we just need to create this user list so what we're going to do for that guys is we can just create a for each loop and let's see what the data we want in there to be. It's just going to be zero up to 10 for now. ID backslash dot self. And then we can say user in because later on this is going to be populated with user data. Then we're going to say image system name person dot circle dot fill dot frame. Oops, let's say dot resizable first dot frame width and height of Let's make it like uh, 32 by 32. And then we're gonna say dot foreground color is color dot system gray four. So that's not looking too bad. And we notice that we need this to be an H stack. So let's go ahead and just command click on that image and wrap it inside of an H stack. And right next to it, we're gonna place the user's name. So we're gonna say text user or we can just say like maybe Chadwick Boseman, shout out Black Panther. And then we're gonna say dot font dot subheadline, dot font weight is dot semi bold. So let's see how that looks, that looks pretty good to me. And then guys, what we can do is apply a spacer to get everything over to the left side of the screen. You're gonna notice that we do need some padding, however, so let's go on this H stack and say dot padding dot leading. So that looks good. And we also need our divider in here. So now we need to wrap this inside of a V stack, right? Because we want that divider placed below each thing. So on your H stack, just go ahead and wrap that inside of a V stack. Find the end of that V stack and place a divider there. And then we're going to say dot padding dot leading 40 pixels. And let's see how this looks. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good to me, guys. Uh, okay, so that's going to wrap it up for our user interface on our new message view. A little bit later on, we're going to actually add the functionality to click on one of these guys. So like I can click on Heath Ledger and it will take me over to my chat with him. And then if I go back, it will just take me back to my inbox view. So one more time, that's gonna look like this. It dismisses and then goes over to our chat, which is really cool functionality. We're gonna go over how to do that a little bit later. Uh, next up guys, we are gonna be building out our profile view and setting up the navigation to get there from our inbox view.